there are a lot of students who are extremely serious about gate and they are preparing really well they are preparing sincerely for this particular exam but at the end of the day they are unable to bring a good marks in this particular exam why because of lack of strategy in for this particular exam gate okay gate is extremely strategic exam and you have to be very much sure that you are applying the right strategy for the right exam suppose you are very much interested for any particular subject may it be geotechnical may it be structural or strength of material or design whatever and you want to study day and night that particular topic okay for somehow one month or one and half months or two months maybe so if you want to do research on that particular topic or subject do this after get not before get and if you are really interested to pursue or to go with this particular subject then choose any exam which is actually able to appreciate your hard work not get get is very much strategic why because if you just observe the marks distribution from here your strategy starts actually so from general aptitude we know you will get 15 marks and for mathematics it is it ranges between 10 to 12 marks so from general aptitude and engineering mathematics you are going to get 25 to 27 marks which is comparatively easy to score because we know that general aptitude the numerical aptitude part is typically 910 class 910 standard and the english part is also moderate you can any day you can score 3 to 4 marks from that part okay now regarding engineering mathematics if not all the questions but then also you can score a lot of uh, question you can attempt lot of questions which are moderate for civil engineering paper engineering mathematics is easy to moderate level so this is one of the major focus you have to keep in mind second part geotechnical engineering and environmental engineering they are the most important two subjects for civil engineering get and from here you can expect a marks ranging 25 to 28 even for past few years what is the observation that is the from from geotechnical engineering you can expect a 15 marks or maybe more some sometimes it has come 16 to 18 marks even environmental engineering typically ranges from 10 to 11 so altogether you can get a 25 to 28 marks now what i should comment that this geotechnical and environmental engineering they are not so easy to handle that's fine but you can afford okay you can afford that time or you can put your effort in this particular two subjects from where you are expecting a 28 marks 25 to 28 marks there you can spend your time somehow but not in structural analysis why because structural analysis you can expect hardly three to four marks okay next this is important because the transportation and geometrics whatever marks they are carrying maybe 10 to 12 sometimes 14 i am considering 10 to 12 marks to obtain this 10 to 12 marks you don't have to do a much uh, botheration like geotechnical engineering and environmental engineering for geotechnical and, and environment you have to put your effort okay but for to obtain a good score from transportation and geometrics part that is not essentially required it is comparatively easy to understand and easy to perform regarding fluid mechanics lot of students i have come across uh, they are somehow skeptic about this particular subject it is very much obvious because fluid mechanics is extremely technical subject okay so if you are if you can target fluid mechanics as a whole that's fine if you are not targeting as a whole but my suggestion at least you go through the open channel flow properly because from open channel flow you can expect easy questions and three to four marks you can easily 
get from here okay so if you just sum all these thing all these marks if you just add it up okay you will be getting somehow from 65 to 70 marks so right now you are standing at a marks of 65 to 70 marks that is why these are called major subjects these are actually called major subjects okay so you have to study only one subject two three four five and part of a subject okay so just 5.5 subjects you have to study because general aptitude people generally don't study it is aptitude okay whatever knowledge you have or whatever aptitude you have you can perform in the examination hall that's not an issue so just only studying by studying a uh, five to six subjects you are standing here 65 to 70 now if you are eager to increase your marks from here onward you have another two option one is strength of material and rcc you have hydrology also hydrology education is also there from here also you can expect some four to five marks altogether strength of material and rcc altogether you can expect somehow some 10 to 12 marks okay so from here onward you can increase your number but my strong suggestion is unless you are finally reaching at this point if you are comfortable with all these subjects all the concepts all the previous year questions you should not go beyond that okay though strength of material is very interesting subject and very technical subject rcc is very interesting that's fine but you have to keep in mind that you are going to appear in an exam which needs a good score okay you have to finally obtain a good score whatever research you want to do do after get or after getting admission in any master's program okay so that is all for this particular video and this is very primary and basic strategy for get civil engineering 2022 if you have any kind of questions okay if you need any kind of suggestion always you can use the comment box i have given my mobile number in the description you can call or you can whatsapp over there i will be in touch with you okay thank you guys